Hi there, and welcome to our new newsletter format at Winchester Golf Academy. I'm Gary Booth. I'm Emma Booth. And we're going to be taking you through the latest news here at the Academy this week. And, um, yeah, hopefully yeah. you enjoy it. So, first of all, we have got a competition running. So, new this week on across all of our social media, we are running a competition to win this pair, or any pair, of Tour 360 Adidas Boost shoes worth £139. Mm. All you've got to do in this video is reply afterwards and tell us. Um, what have they got to tell us, Emma? Somewhere in this video, hidden, is the answer to the question. So, it is, what grips do I use on my own golf clubs? So all you've got to do is reply to this email and yeah. tell us what grips does Emma use on her own personal clubs and then what we'll do, we'll reply back to your email and we will give you, for the Masters, your individual personal player and you will watch that player progress through the Masters next week mm. and if he wins, well, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully yeah. if he wins, you're going to win those bad boys. Yeah, they yeah? are worth £139 too good so. to be true and we're giving them away anyway all you've got to do continue watching and give us the answer to that question by replying to the email so yeah. let's move on to the news then so first of all we've got complete golfer for april april yeah coming what, up what is um, it um so complete golfer if you've read our newsletters before it's always in there because we're always pushing it because it's a great uh, coaching program. It's 21 structured sessions. They're dotted throughout the month at different times, so you can hopefully you can attend as many of them as you want or as few as is what's convenient to you. And it covers a complete game of golf. So you've got sessions on chipping, putting, driving with our two golf coaches, Danny Fisher, Dan Seymour. Um, the price of it, sixty-five pounds. I mean. That's craziness. That's what in the in the newsletter. I feel like I can't stress enough what a good deal that is. Who's it aimed for? Anyone. Anyone that wants to become a complete golfer. I mean, okay, probably beginners to improvers. So if you feel if you have played a little bit before and you need to a refresher on everything, back to basics a little bit is good. If you're a beginner, it's it's absolutely ideal. It's sort of throwing you in there, getting you involved in everything. All the sessions run by PGA coaches, PGA professionals, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's sixty five pounds. So sign up for April now because it does go really quick. Yeah, there's only twelve limited uh, twelve yeah. spots available. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So next, um, Emma, talk us through yeah. our bag trading. This is, again, it's good, isn't it? So uh, it's good for some people. Br well, anyone really. Bring in your smelliest, oldest, crustiest golf bag that you can find and you can swap it trade it in, trade it in is a better word, for a brand new golf bag. We'll give you £20 off that. I don't well, think I've explained it very well. You do it. No, no, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I think so that makes sense. So your oldest, smelliest golf bag. Bring it in. We'll have it. Doesn't have to be smelly. Most people do bring smelly I ones in. I enjoy it when they're crusty because it's like, look, we're giving you twenty quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though it's in horrible. In fact, we've all done it. But last year, I opened my uh, my golf bag and yeah. there was a banana. Well, at least I thought it looked like a banana, mm. and I, I I can't tell you how long it had been in there for. Yeah. I, I, at least at least a year. I think. I had some like sweets, like the um, sweets that melted once, and a, and a bad experience. Oh yeah, with they'd all crumbled together. Satsuma. Yeah. We've all done it. Yeah. We're all not proud of it, but yeah. anyway, if you're in that scenario and you just need to get rid, get bring rid. us it in. We'll trade it in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next, we move on to our offer we've been doing for the last month or so. It's our free grip on your seven iron. Any one of these golf pride grips here, bring your seven iron in to the academy here, mm. and we will there and then on the spot slip a new grip on it for free for free yeah and we will measure you for your grips as well that's something that people overlook often is actually do they have the correct size grips yes emma so it, talk yeah. us through a couple of these grips here so yeah. this one here this is yeah a tour velvet it's your standard tour velvet it's black it's got a nice bit of grippiness i mean there's not it's a classic golf grip. There's not much to say. Do you know I, what I mean? I, I know a lot of people will like it. It's because it's not got too many. Um, it's not flashy. Yeah, yeah. It just feels nice, yeah. and it's um, it's got good last. Actually, it does last quite a while. Yeah. 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 So I, I like it. I um, I have these on mine actually. 
They're the grips you use? These are the grips I use, yeah. So Golf Pride Tour Velvet, Emma Booth uses them. Yeah. What more of an endorsement would you want for that grip? And yeah, I mean... if you've got arthritis, we've got grips here with um, cores in the middle that stop the vibrations up the shaft. We've got those, they're also a free grip. Um, we've got multi-compound grips here um, that they um, they are a little bit longer lasting, they're multi-compound, and they've got cord in there as well. That means that when your hand gets a bit sweaty, it gets a bit better. Yeah, it grips on. I mean, we've got loads more, but these are a few we've got for you to look at, and we've talked through a few of them, but yeah, easy as that, bring yeah. your grip in. Now, next, coming up this week. Mother's Day this Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, we've not so got anything planned, have we? We've got, we've got nothing planned We have planned actually, because uh, we're going to your sister's for a barbecue. Oh, thank God for that. Thank yeah, God for that. So, yeah, but you, you still need to get your mum something. Yeah. Um, I've got to send my card, but if you're here and you've not planned anything, if you're around here, the Bistro are having a special Mother's Day lunch. Okay, so there's really, really nice food to choose from. Starters, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them real quick. You've got to say what you're going to have. Okay, ready? Potted crab or roasted beetroots and goat's cheese? Crab. Which one? Crab, okay. Mains, corn-fed chicken breast or roasted cod? Cod, but that's fish and fish, but... Yeah, I probably yeah. chicken. Desserts, um, raspberry white chocolate eat and mess. Yeah, don't even worry about the other one. Really? Eat and mess, that's my favourite. Oh, it's passion yeah. fruit cheesecake. No, no. I when I have a pudding, I don't really want... Anyway... The fruit anyway, the main feature. This is um, biggest day of the year really for Bistro last year uh, and it gets booked up really quick. Uh, not really the good. Day of the year. Not one of the biggest days. Yeah. One of the biggest days. Um, so you've only got a few more days to sign up. It's on the 26th of yeah. March. This so, um, Sunday. This, this Sunday. Sunday. So all you've got to do is that you can reply to this email, but probably best to call the Bistro up and yeah. book your table for Mother's Day. Yeah. Okay, now the next topic is obviously the Masters, mm. Emma. Yeah. Um, now, I'm having a lot of interest coming this week and people asking me what Why my... are they asking you? Like, what do you know yeah, about I, I knew it? you were going to say that, but last year, last year I tipped yeah. Danny Willett to win the Masters, and I mean, Do you know what? I don't think I've ever heard you go on about how you got the winner right. I last say it year. all the time, I, yeah, and I and I, I and I did, and I did. A few of you c can honestly say you're still reaping the benefits of that Masters win. Someone trying to get in the door there. Um, but yeah, Danny Willett last year, so you're all keen to know what I'm betting on or what I'm tipping this year. So there's three Englishmen for this year. You heard it here first. First one is Lee Westwood. Um, we won't spend too long talking about Lee Westwood, but he's, I'll tell you he's why, been up there. Because he won't do it. He never finishes. He's up there every year, and he's second last year. He he's seems up to be up there, on the leaderboard. But he never finishes. He just needs to get over that one bad round. And the next person is a person close to home, local boy, Justin Rose. It's got to be. A, um, he's won a U.S. Open. Um, his putting seems to um, be on form. Mm. And um, it would just, it's more close to my heart, that one, but... Um, Why? Just because he, he used to be a member of Basingstoke Golf Club, North Hants, um, yeah, local you've guy. You've never met him, have you? I don't think I've ever met him, but no. You're it fond would just of be, him? I'm fond, I'm fond. Yeah, I'm fond. he's a local boy. It would be a dream of mine if I didn't meet him. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, uh, wait there. Oh. This, that's, they're, they're the two kind of soft picks. Now this is what you've all been waiting for. The number one is Tyrrell Hatton. Now, some of you may have not heard of him, but he's hot at the moment, really hot. If you look at some of those stats on the PGA Tour website, the putting stats, putting strokes gained, um, average putts, putts from five to 10 feet. As you know, at Augusta, it's all about the greens. This guy at the moment is coming into this week, or next week, sorry, as um, a hot, hot putter. And uh, he's played a few tournaments now in America and he's found his feet. He's been up there this last week at Bay Hill Invitational, Arna Palmer. So mm. I could go on all day, talk to you about stats, everything. I've done a little bit of research, but he is my pick, Tyrrell Hatton. There you I... go. I've got a couple of picks. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've conducted my own research okay. extensively. Okay. And my first pick is Henrik Stenson. I think tell you know, us, he's tell always us why. up there. Give us some give you us some. You know why. 
Is this this isn't because he saved that turtle from the lake that time, is it? There was yeah. what happened? I mean he didn't need to save it from the lake, but he saved it from the fairway. So your pick for the masters is Yeah. Because he saved a, an animal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it was really nice thing to good do. Good luck on that one, guys. It was sweet. Okay. He's still a good golfer. Obviously, like, he's still yeah. Amazing. Obviously. He's still up there in the odds. One so. of the best tour strikers on tour at the moment. Yeah, yeah. and turtle saver. And a turtle saver. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is, um, you got any more or not? Yeah. Ricky Fowler. Yeah, I could have guessed that one. Yeah. I mean, she goes gooey-eyed on the TV when he yeah. comes on. He's like the Justin Bieber of... Have you just, got, have you just blushed? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> he's like the Justin Bieber of the golf tour, isn't he? He's, he's yeah. good looking. I think he'd look good in green. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, there you go, guys. There are our Masters picks yeah. for uh, next week's the 6th of April. And uh, don't forget, you could be having some uh, extra interest in it if you reply to this email and yeah. give us that competition uh, result. So, guys. That's it. That's all we've got to talk about this week for our Winchester Golf Academy newsletter. And as always, as always, nice little shuffle of your paper. Yep. As always, please give us some feedback. If it's good feedback, send it in. If it's bad feedback, no, send. Don't, no, no. I if it's bad know. feedback, we no, need to know. I we're, don't know. We're here to help. We're here to help these guys. Yeah. And if we could be helping in any other way, um, to be honest, if you don't like it, just turn it off. Just turn it off. Don't watch it. But if you have got any bad feedback, no give it to me. No one's watching at won't, this point now. I won't, I won't listen to the bad feedback. No. Well, no. I mean, we've got Just, to improve, but no got... one's watching at this point now. Okay. Everyone's switched off. Most people any feedback, any criticism, Probably. give it back to us. But yeah. um, that's not quite the end there, though. We are going to be helping you, you guys practicing on the driving range, mm. and we're going to be trying to give you a bit of a 20-ball practice routine, a little simple routine that's going to help you come and uh, get better every time you come here, rather mm. than just aimlessly coming and whacking balls. But mm. anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Yep. Yeah, thanks very much. Bye. OK, we've got 20 balls, and I want you to separate them into four separate piles. With each pile, we're going to hit a separate target with a separate club, and if we hit the target, we're going to give ourselves a point. Simple as that. At the end of your practice, you'll have a mark, a score. It should be out of 20. And then you can re relate that to every practice you have and see if you can beat your best each practice. And what this does, it makes sure your practice is measurable and meaningful rather than aimlessly coming up and hitting some balls. But I'll give you an idea of what my targets would be and what clubs they're going to be using. So first of all, first pile, start, start at the shorter end of your game, something about 20 yards away. I'm aiming for that flag there. And if I hit the target, it's gone over the back of the green, so that's no points, zero points. I'll do that five times and see how many points I can get there. Next pile, generally I use a seven iron or a six iron or a mid iron. And for me, it's something about 150 yards away and we're gonna to go towards the 150 yard marker. If I get within 15 yards of it, I've given myself a point. Just missed, so zero points again. This isn't going good for me today, but I'm under pressure. Next, um, I've got the hybrid out, so it's like a three iron hybrid. Next pile, something for me is for this sort of distance is 200 yards away. So I'm gonna aim for the 200 yard marker on the right. And if I'm within 15 yards, like I say, there's your point. It's getting to me, the pressure of this video, but I'm on zero points. But you can see what's going on here is that every ball to me now matters. It matters towards my practice. Again, next ball for me, the driver towards the yellow flag in the distance. If I hit it over the yellow flag or within 15 yards, I'm counting that as a point. There we go, at least I hit one decent shot. But there you go, guys. Bit of a measurable practice for you. Doesn't take too long. Make sure when you're coming and getting better and not worse with every shot. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and give me a reply to this email. See you next time.